Oh, the best guy in the room is finally here to review SmackDown for today. One day, man. One day I'm gonna say something funny and it's gonna click and it's gonna be amazing. But until this day, we can just uh, be satisfied with what we have, right? The first thing that happened last night was a match between Charlotte Flair and Asuka. I don't know what is the reasoning behind that match. Probably because of the triple threat and they didn't win both of them but anyway the match was awesome I really enjoyed the match until the point that Io Sky came and damage control actually came and they obliterated both of them and Bailey missed a high five from Io and that was the devastating thing from the night uh, but besides that it was a good segment I'm really excited to see what Io will bring to the table as a champion I'm really excited to see where Charlotte Flair will go, Asuka will go and what is actually happening with Bianca because a lot of people online are saying that her knee injury was a work after that we had a match that I was seriously looking forward to and I think it was the third match in their story Karrion Cross versus AJ Styles I was excited because Karrion Cross is doing really good promo stages and Karrion Cross is having a new finisher and AJ Styles is not really established established with the OC and there are a lot of moving parts out there but it seems to be that the last match they had last night was a little bit of a flop and I'm not talking because of the last two moves that they failed to do but because it was a little bit short and it was a little bit cold too soon by the way that commentary approached the match they told us kind of that the feud is not over which was kind of weird I really want both of them to have a pay-per-view match the thing is I know very well that AJ Styles is great and Karen Cross is great as well. A lot of people online are putting a lot of shit on him because of the fact he failed one move yesterday. But if you look at it, AJ Styles failed to lift him up as well. Stop nitpicking guys that's not the whole point of the feud that's not the whole point of the match like as a fan i really want to see where this will go i was thinking in a long-term perspective will i be more happy to see aj styles win or Karrion Cross to win maybe Karrion Cross win would be a little bit better because i believe that he doesn't have a main roster victories yet like big ones he had a feud with Drew McIntyre that was kind of big that Drew went on top before AJ Styles. He had a feud that I believe that the other guy went on top. I'm really excited where, to see where this whole thing will go. Next up... You think you know me? Holy shit, every time you hear that, goosebumps man, and you want to scream and Edge was in the building, it was not expected because we were expecting him next week at Toronto. Uh, for his 25 year anniversary tonight he came up and he was like at my 25 year anniversary i want to have a match with a guy that i never wrestled with even though we were both for a shit long time in the company and that guy is Sheamus and i was like what seriously you never wrestled i remembered that Sheamus uh, actually brought him back in WWE in a way because of his YouTube channel. Edge is my re favorite wrestler and I have watched a lot of stuff from Edge. Uh, all of his documentaries, all of the untold old stuff and I know everything and after that Edge actually brought that up and I was like holy shit what a feel good moment and I'm really excited to see the, the next week uh, and their match and I guess this is gonna be the last match of Edge I hope not I hope this whole thing turns into a feud we all know that this is the summer that Edge is gonna leave but I kinda don't want to for Edge to leave only by one match but at the same time his 25 year anniversary is gonna be at Toronto and what better way to leave than in your hometown with a match in LA Knight versus Flop Dalla as Michael Cole says it, I really like that nickname unfortunately it didn't stick around because I think 
Top Dollar actually is offended by that nickname and it's not a good marketing actually. I don't think it was a great match. I don't know if there is a point of LA Knight fighting with Hit Row because he's doing that for the past month I feel so. Uh, I don't know where this is going. Hit Row should actually go against some other tag teams, not attack a single superstar. But anyway, Hit Row's story is so sad and so strange and I feel like they have a lot of untapped potential especially BFAP and Ashante. I'm not sure about Top Dollar. I, I feel like he's having some potential that I still don't see. At the end of the day Triple H brought him back because he sees something. I guess he sees something that other people don't see and I trust him. Anyway LA Knight after he beat Top Dollar he made a little bit of a promo against The Miz and uh, of course, uh, whose game is it with everybody saying LA Knight, yeah. I said in previous videos that I feel like this is the yes movement but revamp. They're gonna milk it a lot until the point that he, he gets a championship. Austin Theory versus Santos Escobar was the match that was supposed supposed to be tonight but instead Austin Theory attacks Santos and he injured his knee Ray came out and he beat Austin Theory for the US Championship and I was like holy shit man this is something I didn't expect for sure 1000% I I thought that Austin Theory is protected and it all made sense because Santos Escobar was not the guy that was actually supposed to win in the first place, I feel like. But Ray got injured or something. Everything came in place right now and I feel like this is a really good moment, man. I, I don't know. It's a really feel-good moment. I thought that Theory was protected and they're aiming for a long championship run, but I guess that's not the case and we have a new champ and I'm really happy for Ray Ray. I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do with the championship. My suspicion is that at the end, the championship will go to Santos or Dragon Lee because I, I think that Dragon Lee will make a fast leap to the main roster and he's gonna join a LWO and I, I don't know. It's a fantasy booking and I'm excited to see what's gonna happen with the new champ. And after that, the main event, the main thing, the main segment was Roman Reigns addressing his future of the championship or whatever. So Roman came out, Jimmy came out, Jay came out and Jimmy, as I told you guys, he has a personal issues with the whole thing. He was like, I love you, Jay. I didn't want you to become like that stupid ass, egocentrico, cynical uh, Roman Reigns. So that's why I put the trigger and uh, he started to leave. Roman Reigns was like, ha ha ha, you're so stupid, Jay. Well, yada yada yada, Jay super kicked Roman, beat Solo, a spear Roman. After that was like, okay, Jimmy, come, 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 come. And everybody was like, or oh, they're gonna hug. And Jay just super kicked the shit out of Jimmy and I was like, okay everyone, I'm leaving, I'm leaving the bloodline, I'm leaving Smackdown, I'm leaving WWE, deuces. And he just left. In the first moment when you hear something like that, you're like, but where Jay is gonna go? But after that you start to think about it and Jimmy and Jay are supposed to be a 1v1 at WrestleMania. This is their dream on both of them. So I guess the whole leaving thing is just prolonging the feud between them. So I guess by the time he comes back, Jimmy is gonna have a title shot at Roman and Jay is gonna come back at some point either to stop Jimmy from winning or at Royal Rumble and they're gonna have a match at WrestleMania. I'm pretty sure about it. I'm really excited to see what is gonna happen now between Jimmy and Roman and the whole saga. So thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for listening to my stupid ass shit and for uh, booking with me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.